was elected, cast the swing vote to give them the lucrative 9-11 contract in the city. Four of these council members sitting on this DS, and Rizzo was one of them, despite my plea for this council to censure the mayor and those of others in the public, uh, remained silent. There was an emotion one, not one. And there was a violation of law. It was a matter of fact. Hmm. It was a question. Wow. It's hypocritical. <laughs> I call this hypocritical to do this now to Mr. Matucci, given the history of the council <laughs> that we have sitting here. Is Rizzo positioning himself to be the successor mayor to Peary? Yep. Or is this simple bullying? of a now council member by part of the council that then had the voting block before Wiedemann was unseated by Mr. Matucci. <clears throat> Whatever it is, it's ugly. As the city attorney report states, there's no rule that Mr. Matucci broke. If the council feels it's appropriate to discuss the extent to which other members express opinions on social media, bring it back, perhaps set some rules and discuss it. I am not a Matucci groupie. And the evict coyote movement is not his mob. It was born out of the Facebook page, South Bay Coyote Activity, begun in 2016 by Jennifer. Announced, when he announced his candidacy for city council in 2017, that was a year later. later. He ran another Facebook page, altogether different, about coyotes. I suggest the city council adopt item number four. And if after discussion you desire, go ahead and discuss option five at a later date. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What vendor 